Hey, what's up, guys? This is going to be a little bit of a rant style video, and I'm just going to talk. I mean, if you watched the live stream yesterday, you would have seen it, or two days ago, maybe at this point. Yeah, but holy fucking shit, guys. Guys, guys, kabam, please. For the love of God, bring back gold globals. The new nodes in the Cavalier, the new uh, class type nodes, are so bad it actually hurts. Like, two of them are fine, okay? The Tekken Cosmic one are fine, but the other four are atrocious, okay? So I'm just going to show you them one by one, okay? So, first quest, the Dead Bull. You know, you'd assume the first quest would be the easiest. Okay, well, whatever, don't worry about the team. Um, so, you look at this quest, okay? So, don't worry about anything, just look at the global. So, class global, so this is the science global, okay? Science attackers reduce the potency of defenders' poison effects by 85%. So, poisons basically do no damage. And whenever a science attacker dodges an attack, like Dex's or does a parry, all their poison debuffs are removed, and um, you know they turn into Furies which with this node. Okay, so the Fury is twenty percent. Okay, then it goes. And then it has a uh, Contagion, or I don't know if that's how you say it, but whenever uh, you hit them, you have a twenty percent chance to put a poison debuff on yourself. Okay, so and then the final node also weaken the knees. Uh, the attacker is inflicted with a permanent passive weakness, reducing their attack by 150%. This weakness is removed while the defender is suffering from a non-damaging debuff. This is just bad, okay? If we look, okay, ideally you want to use science characters that are, you know, immune to poison, but worst comes to worst, you can't do that, okay? So if you look at my roster, okay, so the only one that's really immune to poison that I would even consider taking in is, is Red Hulk and She-Hulk. But what if you don't have these characters, okay? You could just take these characters, but you're going to take chip damage. But what if you don't have a good science character, okay? Say, like, look at my free to play account, for example. I'm moving pretty fast on that account, and I'm going to get Cavalier soon. And I have no good science character for this node. Like, absolutely no one. I have, I think my best option is, like, an Unawakened Void 5-star rank 2. Or rank 1, even. So, I'm not going to be using that. So... We don't do that. Whatever. We just have to deal with the poison. On uh, if you don't have a good science character, what what do you do? You, then you just bring in a poison immune character from a different class. Okay. So bring in a poison immune character from a different class. Okay. So we look at skill. Not really anyone. We're gonna be using that class. Mutant. Uh, we could bring a Meta Mega Red or that's pretty much it. Cosmic. We could bring Medusa, Hyperion, Captain Marvel movie. You know, tech, we could bring Warlock, Guillotine, Ghost. But, you know, and then Mystic, maybe like Clairvoyant. But, if we actually look at the node, it also says, if they're not, um, what's it called? If they're not, if they don't have a non-damaging debuff on them, then your attack is permanently reduced by 50%. That is so annoying, okay? That is just so annoying, dude. What I think they should do for this quest, okay, because I just wanted to use Ghost. I wasn't thinking that deeply into it, okay? I don't really care to do these. I was like, fuck it, I'll just bring Ghost. Literally, I was just dealing with a 50% minus uh, attack node, which, and just, I know it sounds like I'm complaining a lot, but this is one of the least problematic ones. The ones in the, like, the ones in the further quest just get way worse, but this is just, like, the first example, but, so I have to deal with bringing a poison character, Okay, or science, but like I don't really want to bring any science characters. My top science characters are Captain Beardo, who I don't really like playing that much anymore because I just don't use him for anything. Quake, I don't want to Quake because Quake's boring. And then I have Red Hulk, but I don't really want to use Red Hulk because why would I? Um, I just don't, I'd just rather use like a Ghost or Nick Fury or someone that I actually like, like playing. Okay, but then I get punished and I get Poison Death, so I have to bring a Poison Immune. And then if I bring a Poison Immune that doesn't put non damaging debuffs, okay say like a mega red then guess what i just have to deal with that 50 percent attack reduction if they remove this node it'll be fine but just it's just such an annoying combination but that's definitely not the worst node so it's just a small complaint the science one definitely really shit and it's also just bad because compared to the last one bro the last one you could literally bring like a three-star loot cage and just destroy it like it was fun but that's just not fun and then you know we skip the second quest because this is the Tech one, the third one is the cosmic one. It's not bad. And then we go to the fourth quest. If it wants to load, this is the new character. 
super scroll. So now we have this fun and interactive skill node, okay? This is just amazing. Like, I just love it. Skill attackers prevent the defender's evade abilities while defender is suffering from a disorient. I don't really know what skill character even places that. Incinerate, um, I guess, Massacre, but I don't have a high ranked Massacre. Or Shock, I guess that would be the new Black Widow, I guess. I mean, this one note is just not really going to use that much. And then you have Mind Die. A skill attacker is getting an indefinite passive Fury attack and increasing, uh, I mean, guys, Fury increasing attack by 35% each time the defender evade effect is prevented in any other way than ability axe reduction. So when I first read this, I didn't read the ability axe reduction part. So yesterday on my stream when I did the four star run through, I bought four star Gwenpool because that'd be fun. Little did I know, her ability axe reduction doesn't give me furies. I don't know why. She's a skill character and I prevented their evade, but apparently can't do it that way because fuck you, that's why. And then we have this massively fun node, just, just so fun. Can't touch this. Every, you know, everyone loves evade. Like who doesn't love evade? So slap on a 50% chance to evade, which feels like 75% chance, honestly, when you actually play it. It's on every single character, okay? Every character, okay? Every single character, 50% evade. It's so fun, dude. There's nothing more fun than going into a fight and you just, they evade every single hit unless you just parry three combo. But parry three combos are really annoying to do for every single fucking fight, dude. Uh, I just don't know why this node's here. Once again, the other skill node, way more fun. It was like every time a bleed expires, uh, you get a Fury. So I just brung a Nick Fury or like Black Panther OG. Just so many characters um, that could just do it so much better. And if we actually look at this skill class, okay, because they want us to bring skill characters that prevent evade, okay? So the majority of people aren't going to have a high ranked fucking deadly origin, especially in the end game, because. I mean, look, look at my top row of skill characters. Like, I don't need her. Disorient. I think, like, Night Thrasher might be able to put that or something. I'm trying to look. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly. Um, whatever. Um, then what was the one? Uh, uh, incinerate. Uh, Massacre puts Incinerate. Who else puts Incinerate? Uh, Gwenpool Special 1, I guess. But I have Recoil, so I'm not going to throw that. Also, Bloodstone would be not bad for that. But once again, I don't have a high rank. Um, you know, just very fun. I mean, you could use Falcon. I tried to use Falcon, but it wasn't that fun. It just took a while. Um, could use Nick Fury, get to special one. But once again, I run suicide, so it's kind of a pain. But if we look at the old node, the bleed one, you could use Blade. Just cheese through it fast. Aegon could be decent for it. Um, Nick Fury is just a beast. You could use Falcon. You could use Massacre. You could use Gwenpool. You could use Elektra. You could use Hawkeye. You could use Mole Man. You could use, I think, Hell's Kitchen. I don't know. I think he puts bleeds, right? You could use um, Agent Venom, even. After a few special ones, you'd start hitting pretty hard. You can use Taskmaster, special one. You know, you could use Winter Soldier. He actually hit pretty hard. Black Panther, OG, Moon Knight. I mean, Killmonger. All these characters with all these bleeds they're putting on. They eventually get the fairy stacks up. And even, like, a Moon Knight would hit pretty hard. Just like an example, once again, like these are just like Hit Monkey, you know, there's a few characters I don't have, Squirrel Girl. But like these characters would just be so much, like it just, the old dog was just better. Like it's just.